Good morning. Happy Thursday, you guys. Oh, my lighting out here is not too good. Um, I'm out here on my front porch. It is beautiful. Let me show you guys my view this morning. So there's our bird feeder. We don't have any birds today, but sometimes they'll fly up here. And then I have my bird bath, which is out of water. Um, but yeah, sometimes we'll have like, I have a lot of cardinals that'll come up. Um, we'll have dove that come up. Um, just some really pretty um, birds that'll come up here in the mornings this time of day. And then the evenings we'll have them as well. But this is my little sanctuary on my front porch. This is where I've been doing my work out here and making it pretty. And we got it all just comfy out here. <laughs> so I come out here and get away sometimes when it's, we got the loudness going on in the, in the house, which most of us have, right? <laughs> Good morning, Jane. How are you? So listen, I was reflecting a little bit this morning and I wanted to come out here on my front porch. This is something that I've um, kind of been having a tug at my heart here lately um, that I needed to change some things up. So I'm going to try this um, when I feel that God's pouring something into me to kind of share with you guys. And we're going to call this uh, Front Porch Chats. Okay. Um, but anyways, I want to thank you guys all for popping on with me. Feel free to share at any time. But, you know, I was reflecting this morning and, um, I was getting ready, getting ready to go to Hobby Lobby to, um, purchase some more things for some new shirts. Um, there's a loud truck going down the road if you're wondering what that is. <laughs> And um, I was reflecting about, about something this morning, and I labeled up top, you know, don't let it take you out of your character. Um, some of you may have looked at that and said, what is she talking about? Well, I wanted to kind of um, just share with you what was on my heart a little bit about that. Your character is who you are. It's um, what you represent. It's um, what identifies you. Your character is hopefully something that's inspirational to others. It's loving when people look at your character and who you are. Hopefully that is um, gives them a good feeling about you. Um, they're going to be like, yeah, you know, hey, Laura, you know, your character is just basically your personality. People know, oh, no, if someone comes and says, you know, Amy did this, your character should speak and say, you know what, I know her character and she wouldn't be, she wouldn't do that or he wouldn't do that. So when I say don't let it take you out of your character, what I mean by that is basically don't let things in life, things that happen to us throughout the day, um, don't let anything, the car pulling out in front of you. Maybe somebody was not so nice at the grocery store. Maybe you got some bad news. Maybe your car broke down. Maybe the dog chewed your shoe or maybe your husband or your, your wife may be done or said something to you that really probably wasn't appropriate. Um, that's when we need to kind of check ourselves, And that's when we need to say, you know what, this is what's happened to me. This is how this has been. But obviously they're having a bad day or maybe they just, um, have some things going on in their life where it's took them out of their character. And I just want to encourage you not to let them or things take you out of that character. Um, don't let something that, you know, I used to tell my older boys this all the time, you know, things are going to happen throughout the day. Um, and there's a lot of times we don't have control. Most of the time we don't have the control over what's going to happen. But a lot of times we have that, well, all the time we have that choice. Do we let it ruin us the rest of the day? Or are we just going to say, you know what, this is what happened. I'm going to move forward in my day. And I used to tell them that all the time. Um, and I still, you know, it's so funny as a parent, when you tell your kids things like that, and then you have to remind yourself and you're like preaching to yourself, right? <laughs> you guys were talking and I didn't see it. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, you know, I have to really remind myself a lot of times, you know, and a lot of times too, we don't know what others are going through. And sometimes when that person in that grocery store may have said something to you that wasn't so nice or, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody 
took the cart that you were going after, you know, or maybe someone left a cart in the parking lot in it, or maybe they hit your car with, um, with the cart and you're like, your inside just wants to be like, um, you know, we have to realize that we don't always know what they're going through too. And sometimes us just being able to stay in our good character, you know, and not letting me and my brother were talking about this, um, uh, we've talked about this a lot actually about not letting other people sin be our sin um what i mean by that is when someone else is in a bad mood when someone else has something bad going on don't let their stuff come over on you to where if they may have woke up on the wrong side of the bed you woke up in a good mood but then that person just totally just stepped in and like don't let them or that thing dictate you on how you're going to be and how you're going to act the rest of the day hopefully this is an encouragement to you guys um i know this morning i was just really thinking about that and maybe god knows that something might come in my path today and he might remind me of this live with you guys this morning um preaching to myself but i just want to encourage you guys to always um just kind of take that deep breath when something like that happens and just be like, you know what? Give them grace. Give, give that thing grace in your life. Because you know what? We need that grace too. We need that grace every day. So if we're expecting the grace, we need to give the grace, right? But anyways, I hope you guys got an encouragement. I'm going to go. I'm going to uh, get out of here and head on over to Hobby Lobby um, to get me some more vinyl and I have some bright colored shirts coming tomorrow that I'm going to be able to work on this weekend. Super excited about. Um, but you guys have a fabulous day. Bye, guys.